Hello, you absolute brain. Let's. This is the hardest video I've ever had to make. And no, the title is not clickbait. I'm gonna be honest. My penis isn't really 12 inches long. I understand this might come as a shock to most of you. But despite the fact that I look like an albino, you would still be hard if I gently pressed your tiny gamer dick into the fat in one form or another. Recently, I've made a name for myself as someone who has been very outspoken about his own penis. Honestly, I want to kill myself. Or at least, John Carmack, perhaps I saw exposing gamers as a means of redemption for my past sins. A way to cleanse myself of the overwhelming guilt I felt for jerking off over a video game. Unfortunately, as hard as I tried, I never could quite shake the come off my dick a bad smell. It followed me around everywhere I went. At night, I would lay awake for hours, coming my dick off. It was the hardest I've ever been. As of late, however, there was a new thought that went through my penis during my restless hours. It was the thought of being caught. The bigger I get, the more likely it is that my mom would start snooping around trying to find any cum she could. If my secret was uncovered, it could be the end of my life. So I figured I'd expose my penis to my mom. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. But maybe through my honesty, I can salvage at least a sliver of my reputation. In today's video, we will take a look at the time I fucked my mum and got away with it for over 20 years. I really hope you enjoy. Now, faggots, I have to be honest, I came a lot lately, furiously beating my dick, and it hurt like hell. Anyways, back to the video. In September of 1964, issue 666 of 64 magazine was released. 64 magazine was a cape magazine that was sold throughout Europe and Australia. As was customary, the magazine featured a dedicated section where people could submit their dick pics. This was a time before the internet was a commonplace to jerk off. In fact, in the 90s, most people didn't masturbate at all. While some very rarely beat off, most kids in those days never had jerked off beforehand. In the case of 64 Magazine, their high score section was called Dick Zone. This was an important issue because in this issue, embedded next to the nudes, was a challenge to beat off 600 times in less than 60 minutes. This was a pretty crazy challenge to give people. But it housed scores from some of the biggest suckers in history, such as Fit MC, Dragon Lord, and Jep. Originally, it was only a two page spread, but as more dick pics were submitted, it eventually grew to 1,047,000. Cockingly, the challenge was completed. Four months later, in December of 1998, 0.5 Dragon Lord from Nordbyr was the man to do it. It wasn't a particularly large dick, but it was enough to physically jerk off. So why am I telling you this? Honestly, I have no idea. Well, it just so happened that this particular issue single-handedly made me addicted to masturbation. I was amazed at Dragon Lord's times, and I spent months throughout 1999 furiously trying to beat off as much as possible. It was during this process that the competitive fire within me was ignited. I had discovered how to masturbate. Unfortunately, 64 Magazine wasn't the most stringent record keeper. Fit MC scores that were posted weren't realistic for his dick size. For example, in his submitted videotapes, Fit MC was trying to come, but failed. But the score claims that he came over 50,000 times in 42 minutes and 35 seconds, which is absolutely insane. And wouldn't be realized until 2002. I figured that he was just so fast that it was impossible to see the small penis. It was clear that some funny business was going on. Most tapes at this stage did seem legitimate, however. Eventually, my masturbation skills had improved considerably. And tapes of people jerking off wasn't enough to keep the interaction. As months went by, the problem got worse. And I didn't discover H Doom until late 1999 when my family finally connected to the internet. It was then that I discovered the effects that watching furry porn could have on your ability to maintain an erection. Looking at porn was considered cheating, but so did everyone else, so technically everyone was playing by the same rules, therefore no one was cheating. Still, I wanted it. I wanted it badly, and I felt like I deserved it. So I recorded myself jerking off as hard as possible. 
I had also edited the videotape of my penis to make it look like it was 12 inches long because I was insecure that I only had an 11 inches long penis. I had my mom send off my VHS tape. However, when she saw the final result, she wasn't happy with these tapes. I knew I had to keep the tapes a secret from my father. So I actually bribed my mom with sex so she wouldn't tell him. And it was bad. Man, it feels so good to finally get this off my chest after 20 years. I want to sincerely apologize to anyone who was hurt by my fake nudes, except for John Carmack. As for all of you, I hope you'll find it in your hearts to forgive me, you faggot. I hope you are having a fucking horrible day, and I will see you donating to my Patreon.